Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how you can control a DC gear motor with your Raspberry Pi. There will be three parts to this video. The first will cover the parts used, the second is going to cover the pin hookup and the physical layout, and the third will cover the Python code used to make it work. First I wanted to give a big shout out to the folks at Adafruit. Their tutorials have been instrumental in helping me learn how to use the Raspberry Pi and this tutorial I'm about to show you is really built off of some of the other projects that they've got on their website. If you're interested in learning other cool projects about the Raspberry Pi, definitely check it out. I'm using Adafruit's Pi Cobbler Breakout Kit, as you can see here, SparkFun's Beefcake Relay Control Kit, a mini push button switch, and finally I'm using Adafruit's Occidentalist Operating System current version is, as of this video is 0.2. The most important thing is to make sure you've got the GPIO package installed, which you can do by following along one of Adafruit's tutorials, such as this Gmail notification tutorial. Let's take a look at the pin layout and setup. First, I'm going to remove the Pi Cobbler ribbon cable. 3.3 volts is hooked up to our breadboard's positive rail. The 5 volt pin on the Pi Cobbler connected via this red jumper to the 5 volt pin on the Beefcake. Ground is connected to ground. Pin 18 is connected via the yellow jumper to the control pin on the Beefcake. The Beefcake's ground is connected to ground. The white jumper wire connects pin 23 to one side of, the, of our momentary switch. The switch is also connected to positive 3.3 volts via this 10K resistor. The other side of the switch is connected via this black jumper cable to ground. And finally, the beefcake, the top two terminals are normally open, so our motor has one tab of the motor connected directly to the power source positive signal. The black cable is the other terminal from the motor, and the green is connected to my power source's negative. To review, again, the motor's positive lead is connected directly to the battery. The green jumper wire is connected to one side of the relay, and the other side of the relay is connected directly to the motor's other terminal. My Raspberry Pi is running direct power off of a USB hub and it's running on wireless, which I love. You can see that tutorial here, and that lets me keep my wires here to a minimum. Let's plug our ribbon cable back in and take a look at the code. To create the code, type in nano. That will open the text editor where you can type in the code we're about to walk through. I'm going to edit the code by opening the file I've already created, which is raspi-beefcake.py. I'm importing the GPIO. I'm setting beefcake equal to 18. You'll notice that's the pin 18 we've set as the output pin. 23 is our button pin, so we've set that as, the, as an input pin. We set the beefcake, pin 18 is an output pin. We use a while true to debounce the button. So we say input equals the button pin. If the previous input doesn't equal the current input, and that's what does the debouncing, we print button pressed, and then we set the output on pin 23 to true. Sleep pauses for two seconds, and then we turn it back off, and then we set the previous input to this input. You don't debounce the button when you push it. The Raspberry Pi will think you've actually pushed the button quite a few times. To turn this into an executable file, type chmod plus x raspi-beefcake py and then let's run it sudo to run it with administrator rights period forward slash raspi dash beefcake dot py and when I push the button you'll see button pressed and here it is push the button turns for two seconds if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe I've got more videos coming on Raspberry Pi on Arduinos on motors prototyping and more thanks folks